Hello and welcome to the Matt and Joe's Media Overload second anniversary special. I'm Matt. And I'm Joe. And in this video we're going to be taking a look back at all of our previous content from the two glorious years of Media Overload that have existed thus far. So we're going to be looking back at all of our podcast episodes, uh, not every video we've ever done, but a good uh, bit of our video content as well. And we're going to be talking a little bit about what the future holds for Media Overload. So why don't you come along with us, and who knows where we'll go. Yeah, so um, if you remember back to our very first episode of Media Overload, we did February 17th of uh, 2018. Um, I don't know if we ever really talked about the genesis of Media Overload in the first place, but it was pretty spontaneous, actually. We've been hanging out for a few months at that point, and uh, we just kind of randomly suggested, hey, let's start a podcast. Well, the very next week, we started a podcast. And uh, we've been watching the anime Fairy Tale at the time, so we decided that our first episode should be about anime, something that at that time uh, neither of us really had a whole lot of uh, experience with, I right. guess. Uh, we talk about that in the episode. You can go back and listen to it. But I guess what I want to talk about now is what's actually changed uh, since you know two years ago when we did that first episode. You watched any anime since then? Learned anything new about it? Well, I'll tell you... Uh, I personally have not. Um, See, I, I have. Right. So since that episode, I think that kind of opened the door for Matt to kind of explore some more anime. My 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 sister still works in the yeah. industry, just as we talked about on our podcast. I don't think we did talk about it at that uh, time. I we? thought we did. I thought she did the uh, Angels of... Is it Angels of Death Angels, or Angel, uh, Angel, Angels, Angels of, of Death? death. Yes. yes. I thought we talked about that in the podcast. Maybe, maybe we, we talked did. about what um, what was that term that they use for people for fans? Of yeah, uh, bah, bah. I can't remember. Weebos, weebos. We yeah, that's it. That's it. There it is. Um, yeah. weebos. We it, talked about we, that, right. and we called her before we did that episode. Yeah, to yeah, talk yeah. About yeah. That. So I feel like we touched on some of that, but anyway. So it, let's get into that a little bit more, though. If if we didn't mention that, she is a voice actress. Right. Who does? Who's done a couple of anime dubs? Mm -hmm. So she did. Um, what was her character's name? Was it Rachel? Rachel in Angels of Death. She was on Fairy Tale, right? Yep. Uh, which Season is the two, one that which is, spawned the which whole. I don't know thing. who she played yet because uh, I haven't seen the episodes. But yeah. um, she's also in some other ones coming up. <laughs> but again, I can't. I can't talk. She about was on it. what Fire Force? <clears throat> that's it. On Adult Swim. I think that's what it's called. I don't. It's been a minute, guys. But, anyway, that all kind of ties into what we were talking about on our very, very, very first podcast we ever did. So, that that kind of stems that conversation. So, um, anyway, so she's still doing that. Uh, but, however, Matt has been watching some anime uh, since then. So, uh, like you were saying before. Yeah, I mean, well, since then, uh, kind of like the major anime that I've kind of like delved into... Uh, back last summer, there was this whole big thing with uh, Netflix um, getting uh, the rights to uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, mm -hmm. which is a classic anime. Have you ever watched that one? Like yeah. the original dub? I've seen that. But okay, so was, you had okay. seen the original dub. Right, yeah. Okay, well, there was like, this big controversy with Netflix's dub, like changing things. People weren't a fan of it or whatever. I've never seen the original dub, so I liked the Netflix version. I thought it was great. Um, I don't want to like spoil anything in that anime, but you, know, you should definitely check it out because uh, anime aside, it's one of the like better television series I think I've ever seen. It's really good. Huh? Um, I watched Golden Boy, which is like a comedy anime. Have you ever seen Golden Boy? I have not seen Golden Boy. Golden Boy is really good. It's only six episodes, too. You should check it out. It's all on YouTube. Okay. Uh, very funny. Um, and I mean, I, I definitely have plans to watch more anime, but... Uh, so much stuff to watch. So much content there's, out there. There's a ton of stuff. And there's even like a ton of stuff coming out now where they said, we're not going to release any more stuff. I.e. <laughs> the Evil Dead. Yeah. Right? Yeah, which kind of segues directly into our second episode that we ever did, which I still stand by is the best content we've ever done. I episode think two of this good. podcast, The Evil Dead. Some of the best content we've ever done. I, I really love doing that whole podcast because, for num number one, I, I knew a lot about what we were talking about. Some of the stuff like we I've dabbled with, but I was never involved as much as I was 
what the Evil Dead is, at least as far as, you know, movies and TV and stuff goes. Mm-hmm. You know, so that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing that, ep- that, that podcast and that episode because I had a lot of information to give. I think we did the series justice, too, as far as doing a, a very in-depth retrospective of the entire franchise and its creators, all the people involved, the late Bruce Campbell. I, I thought it was great. Informative, funny. Bruce Campbell's not fucking dead, man. He's been dead for a while. He's not fucking dead. Are you sure? You know what is dead? That last piece of shit that they made. <laughs> they are making a new Evil Dead, from what I've heard. That's so. That's some information. I didn't know anything about that. Yeah, but um, it's uh, from from what I've gathered, it's not like a direct sequel or mm. anything. I don't even know that it's a, a direct sequel to the uh, one that you quote unquote uh, call a piece of shit. It's like a, a new Evil Dead story entirely. I I believe that could be interesting. Yeah, that 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 could be interesting. I um, I love the Evil Dead franchise. Really sad to see it. No, I love the TV show. Um, you, you know what what uh, form of media as far as uh, film goes that I don't think that a, a sequel would do any justice to really would be. Uh, the Big Lebowski. The Big Lebowski, yeah. Yeah. Well, how do you make enough, a sequel to that? Oddly enough, the spinoff movie is coming out very soon. Oh my Jesus! Fuck the Jesus rolls. Yeah. Have you heard about what? That? You have not heard about no. That? that movie got filmed like quite a few years ago. It's just now finally coming out. John Turturro, who played the Jesus, you gotta version. have Jesus. Yeah, well, it's 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 his movie. Yeah, I mean, you it, gotta it's have a Jesus movie there. that was in development hell for quite some time. He was like, I didn't even know. He was like, oh, I'm guys. I, I want to make I want to make a movie. I didn't know. about the Jesus character, which was a character he had created. Bear in mind, like he was an original creation of the Cohen brothers. Yeah, I know that. I didn't know if you did. You should. Okay, okay, fair enough. I don't know a lot of things. I, I know. That's why I thought I might need to tell you, and our listeners might not know. So, the, you know. So it's called The Jesus Rolls? The Jesus Rolls. Uh, it had been in development for quite some time. Originally, I believe he wanted to call it 100 Minutes with Jesus. Um, and then uh, I know it was called Going Places at one point. But yeah, it's a movie based around the Jesus character, which is also like a remake of like some, I believe, French movie, too. I don't know. It's probably going to be a piece of shit. The Coen brothers aren't involved in any way. So, uh... A hundred minutes with Jesus sounds like seven minutes in the closet, but with... Well, he was a pederast. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. (laughs) Eight-year-olds, dude. But, yeah, we, uh... I guess that was your segue. I I kind of wanted to talk about the Evil Dead a little bit more. But, anyway... Uh, You can? No, no, no. You can? No, no. we'll we'll get back... We'll get back to Sam Raimi when we hit Spider-Man. Okay. Uh, Oddly enough. But, uh... Yeah, uh... The Big Lebowski was episode four of our, uh... Of our podcast. So, we also skipped episode three. Way to go with that segue. What? Huh? What? I have the list right here. It doesn't matter. We're on Big Lebowski now. That was the episode where we both got drunk. And kind of delayed the episode for quite some time because we were drinking white Russians. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. We both? I mean, maybe I was inebriated. You were... That was the drunkest I've you? ever seen. You! What? You started cleaning the fucking TV in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> I do that anyway. Not in the middle of a podcast, you don't. Oh, God. Look. You were eating a sausage? That was good. <laughs> I bet it was. You were chowing down on it right in the middle of recording. I think mean, that was a fun night, but it, it, I think that was the first little glimmer that our podcast was going to fall apart, and it was in episode four. We had 13 episodes. When was the last time you watched The Big Lebowski? When oh, we did that? Oh, dude. I think so. I used to watch The Big Lebowski, like, multiple it's times. It's been a long time I've since I've seen I've not watched it since we did that episode. When's the last time you guys saw The Big Lebowski? Comment below if you know. <laughs> Feels so good to hear that again. It's been a long time. You're welcome. Uh, you did skip episode three, which was, was video games. We did a video game episode. Oh fuck yeah, Walmart throwing Wing Commander across the room. Yeah, we talked about Wing Commander. Yeah. We talked about um, Kingdom Come Deliverance, I believe, which had just come out at that time. Yeah. Um, man, what can I say? We about did two. Games? We did two video game episodes. So now is our time to kind of reflect back on both of those because yeah. we're not going to like talk about it and <clears> talk about it again later. If anybody's all into, you know, video game culture and stuff, you'll notice that 
the two furthest to your left, my right, and your right, Matt's left, uh, little figures here from the Disney Infinity video game. Um, so yeah, they're kind of in there. Um, Not Starfire and Cyborg. No, they are from the movies. Uh, Teen Titans go to the movies. Right. Which Teen we Titans saw. go to the movies, which we saw. But that's got so nothing to do with the video games. No, um, not one fucking day. I, I'm really excited about this next year, as in the year we're in, you know, while we're filming this for this year. We're going to have new systems out at Christmas. A new PlayStation and a new Xbox. Yeah. PS5. And the Xbox uh, X Series. X, yeah. Um, so that's cool. Um, anyway, so maybe we'll have some information out on those things. Um, you know, as time goes on. Um, but video games, I... That's always been your the, the Video games, is, they're everywhere. I mean, if you're watching this this show right now, you probably have seen fucking 14 video game videos every three minutes or something. So I don't think there's a whole lot to go back on on that. We didn't really... We haven't even played many video games lately, not like, together, games. so there's yeah. not really a whole lot for us to talk about. We usually play a lot of bowling games for some reason, which is probably part of the Big Lebowski type of connection. It's just but fun. Bowling's it is fun. It's just fun. This is a good time. Yeah, kill some time. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I, I, I'm struggling to think of like the last video game we really played though to get, like together. Was probably um, a way out I think. Yeah, which we did talk about. We did talk about that. Yeah. That was the night we did our Batman episode which we'll get to here in a moment. I don't want to skip too far ahead. Right. Um... But yeah, uh, we never did launch computer-intensive games, which we talked about. I am still not sold on the fact that that idea is dead. Not throwing it out. It's, not throwing it's still it. in the pipeline. Computer-intensive games lives in my heart. Just to reiterate, that was going to be a, a series that we were going to do where we were going to play like old, um, uh, like adventure games, computer mm -hmm. games, mm -hmm. things like uh, what, like these are. Leisure Suit Larry. Um, yeah, uh, Eddie, King's Quest. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Fate of Atlantis. Yeah, Fate of Atlantis. Atlantis. Fate yeah. of Atlantis. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. So, who knows? We're going to talk about the future here in a little bit, but that may be something that we get to eventually. Uh, we already talked about The Big Lebowski, which was episode four, so I guess moving into episode five, that was our music episode. We called it Legends of Rock. It was also our St. Patrick's Day episode. And then we did one other music episode later. That was the one that we did as a video cast, which uh, I think turned out pretty good. Our music episodes were usually pretty good, best I can remember. I haven't listened to them in a while. I used to be involved in the industry, not in a professional way, but well, in, a, in a local way. Um, so, you know, being, it, being involved in music was something that I wanted to do professionally when I was growing up. Um, uh, so... Anything that had to do with music was really important to me. It really speaks to me. Um, so I just... What do you got to say about music, like, in its current state? Like, what's going on, like, with the industry? That the, you're, the way you're the industry is right now? I think we talked Fuck. about this a little bit in our uh, in our first music episode. I know for sure the uh, like commercialization of uh, of like rock music, especially, which is kind of near and dear to yeah, your heart. It is. It is. Um, I'm still a I'm still a rock and roll fan. So I mean, most of what comes out nowadays isn't anything I would even akin to rock. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just yeah. I mean, it's music. It's cash is good, but it it, it doesn't have that passion and the energy. It doesn't feel like it has that. Some of it does. I would say that by and large it doesn't. Right. By and large. Yeah. Right. Mainstream especially. I mean you're going to struggle to find anything that has that energy that like you're talking about. What do you like right now? What do you like in the music? Right now? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I, I'm still a huge Pumpkins fan. They're coming out with a new album this year. They're recording it in Nashville right now. Really? Yeah. I had not heard that. Yeah, they're recording a new double album in Nashville. Yep. You know, I asked you this question back a couple of weeks ago, uh, who you thought was the greatest musical genius of all time. Yeah, yes. And you said... William Patrick Corgan, as far as modern. Like modern, like, yeah. And then you said 
Mozart. Mozart, yes. <laughs> John Williams probably thrown in there somewhere. Really? Like a modern day composer? Yeah, because, I mean, you couldn't compare... I, I would compare him to Mozart modern day. Yeah. But in saying that, that sound... I, music was different back in... Way back in the day. You know? Yeah. That was way different. I mean, the classical music now you compose for movies and TV and things of that nature. Well, yeah. I'm going Danny Elfman. Okay. Musical genius. I like, I, I mean, I like Daniel a lot. Over the course of the last several months, Joe and I have really gotten into Oingo Boingo. <laughs> we haven't just gotten into Oingo Boingo. We're, we've become we're, Oingo Boingo in some <laughs> we, we've, we've, we've debated starting a cover band. Yeah. Speaking of cover bands, I still think that like our ultimate like cover band would be, uh, what I call it, Pumpkin Spice Cake. <laughs> Pumpkin Spice Cake, and we would cover, only exclusively cover, Smashing Pumpkins, the Spice Girls, and Cake. And that would be our cover band. And it would be seasonal, only during the fall. Only, only during the fall. As soon as winter rolls around, we're done. No more shows. <laughs> <laughs> while we're on the topic of it's Cake. only seasonal. While we're, talking about the, while we're on the topic of Cake, which is one of my favorite bands of all time, Back a few weeks ago, we were listening to uh, Cake, and uh, the lead singer um, has, a, has a tendency of just being like, oh, yeah, oh, and you were like doing that while we were like cooking and stuff, and you were like, I could be the lead singer of Cake, and I was like, anybody could be the lead singer of Cake, there's nothing special about what he does. Oh, I love that. That was really funny. That was fun. Wasn't that I made those kick-ass burgers, by the way? Oh, those were really good burgers, dude. Those were really good burgers. <laughs> While we're on the topic of cooking, let's talk about your attempt. I'm skipping way ahead in the media overload timeline, but your attempt at making a cooking video, uh, which is dubbed, if you search it, Joe's Quick Cools, because he failed to spell cook correctly. Quick, cook. quick cooks. Yeah, quick cooks. Yes. By the way, whatever you were cooking looked like shit. It was message. fish soup. That was also the night the raccoon decided it was to make delicious. a surprise. He did. It must have smelled good enough for a trash bandit raccoon to come. Raccoons one. don't eat anything. That's what I'm saying. It was <laughs> shit. Oh, yeah. He took that as a compliment for a brief moment. That thing will eat shit. That thing will eat absolute <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. By the it way, was good. <laughs> by the way, check out my cooking videos, Joe's Quick Cooks, where I make shit. A a anytime you try to make a video without me, it usually doesn't go well. <laughs> this is kind of true. That is true. Getting back on track, uh, after episode. our music episode, we did another <laughs> really good. What are you, Shakira, <laughs> from the halftime <laughs> show? <laughs> See that halftime show, by the way, when Shakira... Jesus fucking Christ. I will say, Shakira, love her to death. Oh, my God. I would marry Shakira. But whatever that whatever that thing she did where she looked like directly on the camera was like... Which is what you just did. Why did you do that? Is it the Mitchell Lawless? No. It's, uh... You're getting a little buzz? I think it's part of my heritage. I grew Scotch up... Irish? Mm-hmm. When we used to hit the links, it's a golf course for those of you who are not, who are not pretty. I'm Scotch Irish, and I didn't know that. And when you hit the links, sometimes before you hit the the, the golf first ball. the first golf ball of the drive, you'll go, and then you hit it. Guaranteed two eighty, two eighty yard, two eighty yard. I'm just thinking about starting to wear a kilt. Too breezy. I wouldn't... I would like that. I bend over way too much. <laughs> I just would not... So episode six was our <laughs> Batman and Joker <laughs> episode. So there's a lot think, of stuff to talk about. I don't think that I changed would... In that time. Oh. 
Batman and Joker. Oh, yeah. Uh, Anne Hathaway so, walking down the street. Oh, Anne Hathaway. Oof. Let's talk a little bit about Anne Hathaway. Wait, I thought we were talking about Batman and Joker. I want to talk about Anne Hathaway since <laughs> okay, you brought it up. Right, she was right. Catwoman, and we talked about her at length. I thought you almost said she was Catholic woman, which is a tremendous name for a heroine. Maybe she is. Hathaway? What's the... Ancestry? Catholic woman! Is that... What, what's the ancestry of Hathaway? It's probably, probably English. I would imagine. It sounds about right. Speaking of English, what about that? What about that exit that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did? Oh, they're not even in the royal family anymore. They quit. What do you think about that? How ballsy is that? Who gives a fuck about the royal family? Not me. I mean, they're basically the Kardashians of England at this point. Like, they're just kind of famous. I like how Queen Elizabeth though keep tries to keep everything like still royal. She's like. Uh, old as hell yeah and she's like this is so how we do things I'm like well, it's the fucking 21st century fucks well speaking of things that are British Robert Pattinson will be the next Batman how do you feel about that since to get us back on track with Batman I, you know what the first time I heard that I hated it I think it's gonna be good but that's the more it kinda, cast the more is shaping up to be something really see I don't know amazing. anything about the more cast you don't nothing okay well let me just let me just th- throw out a few things uh, Andy Serkis will be Alfred. Okay. Uh, Colin Farrell will be Oswald Cobblepot, the okay. Penguin. Um, what's her name? Zoe Kravitz will be Catwoman. Selena Kyle. I think that's gonna be. I think that's a good casting choice. I'm a fan of that. What else? You have? Uh, Paul Dano will be the Riddler. Okay. I mean, shaping up to be yeah, something sure, really sure, sure. something sure. special. I think. Yeah. I'm excited about it. it does we'll not see. appear that the Joker is going to be in it, which I think is a good call. I, quite I frankly, agree. I because agree. we just had a Joker movie mm-hmm. starring Joaquin Phoenix, which mm-hmm. I still have not seen. I wanted to see it with you. I haven't seen it yet. Either. I wanted to see it with you so bad, we'll, as I've we'll wanted to it. see so many movies with you. We have wanted to go see a lot of movies, and I'm not. Um, <laughs> From what I've heard, it's great. And you saw our video with when we went to go see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yes, which uh, the so Oscars we'll, are this Sunday. Sunday. Pretty crazy. Oh, are they really that soon? They're going to be this Sunday. Yeah, Joker's nominated for eleven Oscars. What? The movie is nominated, including Best Picture. Good fuck. Best Actor for Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. It's crazy, right? Jesus. What if from a time where comic book movies couldn't be nominated for Oscars to the time when Joker is getting nominated from the director of The Hangover, The Hangover Part Two, The mm-hmm. Hangover Part Three, Yeah. Due Date. Lickety flick my balls. That's crazy. Crazy, right? It's crazy. Absolutely insane. Eleven Oscars. I mean, Heath Ledger won uh, after after his death, of course. Uh, won uh, best supporting actor for right. Joker in the Dark Knight, which is the closest a comic book movie has gotten to. Well, uh, Black Panther was nominated for best picture last year, which was kind of bullshit. Really, it wasn't even the best Marvel movie that had come out. It was bad. I mean, if you were going to nominate a Marvel movie from that year, it would have been Infinity War. Oh, think. sure, but sure. I liked Black Panther a lot. I like Black Panther too. Didn't love it. I don't. I don't think it was as groundbreaking as it was portrayed as. I think it was a good movie. If you were like, "Oh, this is the greatest thing ever," I mean, yeah, I mean, it was. Good. I didn't. I didn't feel that it way. was good. I mean, Marvel's pretty consistent, though. I thought it was good. Still haven't seen Endgame. I wanted to be careful about talking about that because I feel like some people would be like, what are you talking about? Black Panther was a groundbreaking thing in film history and da 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 And I didn't, you know, I don't, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it was a great movie. I just don't think it was what it was. It wasn't that groundbreaking, though. Right. What, is it, what it was marketed as, I guess. It was good, though. And then after it was released. I thought it was good. It was great. Can't wait to see the second one. Super stoked. Yeah. I really liked um, the bad guy in it. I thought he was the most Killmonger? Flesh- Killmonger. The yeah. most fleshed out villain out of any Marvel villain. I think that was him. More than Thanos? More than Thanos. Really? Mm-hmm. See, I would disagree. He had, he had a fucking vision. It, this is what he wanted. Hey, we, they need to know about my brain. Like, he had, he had a path. That he would then that's what he was doing. Like Thanos, I, I don't know. Thanos had a vision. Yeah, but m- probably the most relatable, I would say, of villains. You're not a space 
the ambassador lord fuck. I suppose, but in the comic book world, you kind of got to suspend your... Man, talking to the camera world. and you at the same time is throwing me I'm off. trying not to look at the camera. Because I think you should look at the camera more. We're talking to the fans. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, guys. Remember how we were supposed to be talking about Batman? Well, now we're talking about the MCU. Completely different thing. Guess what? We also have an outline. I'll be fucked if we're following it. I mean, we kind of are. While we're on the topic of crossing between the Marvel DC thing anyway, I mean, you're wearing a Marvel shirt right now. We're trying to talk about Batman. Uh, you ever heard of uh, Squadron Supreme? No. Oh, okay. So that was like Marvel's like Justice League uh, knockoff, basically. Like, it was, you know, kind of like a pastiche thing. Okay, so basically what they did is they created their own version of the Justice League mm -hmm. in the Marvel Universe. So each member of the Justice League, like the core seven original members of the Justice League, had a Marvel counterpart uh, that were villains to the Avengers in the Marvel Oh, Marvel. okay. So there was Hyperion, their version of Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, Nighthawk, which was their Batman. Uh, Dr. Spectrum was the Green Lantern. Wizard, the Wizard, was their Flash counterpart. Um, I'm drawing a blank on some of the others. but it Sounds like that dude hangs out in the bathroom all the time. Yeah, just whizzing all the time. Yeah. Fucking look out! Isn't that kind of You're gonna get warm urine on you! I think that a lot of people don't realize how much uh, like crossover there is between DC and Marvel, though. I mean, there was the whole amalgam. Don't thing. cross the Literally. streams! Literally. It's the wizard! It's Ghostbusters. <laughs> I guess it is. While we're on the topic, I mean, there's a new Ghostbusters movie. Oh, coming out. What do you think about that? We're, we're already off the off the rails so far. We might as well so take let's, this um, thing out. So, so let's, uh, let's talk about where we're headed. No, we got more to talk about. We got more stuff on that list. You want me to bring it back? You threw it behind your back. I can get it. So there's no... Uh, Star Wars. Let's talk about Star Wars. That was episode eight. Actually, that would be a really good topic to talk about. Because yeah, that's why I don't want you to get too Our reaction... Ahead. Wait a minute. Star Wars... Uh, uh, that episode that we did uh, featured our super fan Jeremy, who I'm sure is watching this video right now. Uh, one of our better episodes. It was also the first appearance of our good friend Lincoln Buck. Lincoln Buck. Yeah, who's not with us, unfortunately, tonight. Uh, I tried to get him here for the video. What's he, he doing was... right now, do you think? He, or do you know? He got a new job. He's actually working in a movie theater. Doing what? Putting butter on popcorn. Hope he does better than that John guy. Man, that's like the perfect job for Lincoln. I would, I would enjoy that job, I think. Lincoln Buck butters corn. This corn. Anyway, Star Wars, um, kind of just revisiting that. Since that episode, that was shortly after The Last Jedi had come out. Uh, in that time, uh, we had Solo, a Star Wars story, come out. We had uh, the most recent final install uh, installment of the Skywalker saga, mm -hmm. being um, The Rise of Skywalker, which you have seen, I have not. Uh, but as our fans may have seen, we did post a reaction video to it that uh, you were not a huge fan of it. Well, I'll just go ahead and say no spoilers. I'm not going to talk about the movie. It's still been out. It's been out for a few months. But I'm not going to talk about the movie. Jar Jar dies. However, I am not a huge... I just wasn't a huge... Not that I'm not a huge fan of the movie. I just wasn't a huge fan of how it was paced. Um, I don't know. I've never watched a Star Wars movie where I was like, okay, let's let's wrap this up. You know, that's kind of how I felt, like, halfway through the movie. Like, let's just, okay, let's just wrap this up. Well, I mean... We're, we're doing too I much. haven't seen the movie, but from what I've heard, it just, it seems like J.J. Abrams was like, forget all the stuff Ryan Johnson did. He was trying I'm to, wrap he, this he was up. trying to appease the original crowd that everybody loved. Not everybody, but a lot of people really liked The Force Awakens. So he was trying to go back and appease those people that didn't like The Last Jedi so much. I didn't... I didn't think the last time was that bad. 
So I would have to watch it again. I didn't enjoy it on first viewing, but I've only seen it the I, one time. I, I kind of liked it. I, so I just, I don't know. Like, thinking back to it, I, I feel like I would like it more on a second viewing because what stands out to me when I think back to it are the parts that I liked more right. than the parts that well, I didn't like. Well, and then when I saw Rise of Skywalker, it just made me like The Last Jedi even more personally. But I really like The Last like, Jedi. Like, appreciate it more for yeah. what it was. For what it was, but it also, I don't know, I appreciate it more because I thought the story was better. Mm -hmm. I thought everything was better. But I also like, and, and you, you hear about that if you're like talking, or not talking, but we're talking and reading comments and people's opinions on the movie. Like, it took a lot of risks. Whether they hit or not, it took risks. Yeah. The Rise of Skywalker took zero risks. It it's mostly teased, service. it teased risks. Mm -hmm. And then went, ah, just kidding. I didn't, fuck you. You know, like, like, do it or don't. How do you feel about the future of Star Wars? As a as as the bigger Star Wars fan of the two of us, I what do you think about the future? I really like the Mandalorian. I really like the Mandalorian because I don't know. I just feel like it's a little more real. If that makes sense. Grounded. Yeah. It, so I have high hopes for how. Like Disney Plus and the TV shows, yeah, be it live action or animated, because they're coming out with another season of Clone Wars. Wars. Yeah, so I'm excited about all of that. Ryan Johnson is supposed to what herald the next three movies in the trilogy, which I hear they're going to go back to the Old Republic. I, I haven't heard anything. About I've heard that. that. So Ryan Johnson, guy, his last job, everybody hated, or I, a lot of people hated. I don't know. If they go back to the Old Republic, it'll be exciting because there's a lot of things going on. And you have to figure, too, that that's not him stepping in to the middle of a saga. That's him kind of starting his own thing. So exactly. It might... So there's nothing tying him down. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. And I think that, however, though, uh, Dave Baloney, right? Is it Baloney? Baloney. 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 Sorry, I need a sandwich right now, apparently. Baloney has a first name. It's, it's D-A-V-E, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Yeah. Um, so, but I like what he's done with the uh, the continuity already. Already. The continuity already. Yeah. Already? Continuity's ready, man. Fucking ready, dude. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for it, too. I'm ready to see uh, how it goes. So, anyway... Uh, so I really like what he's done with the, but he's already living in that world. So that's, I don't know. I, again, I liked Last Jedi. I think, uh, he could do some good things with that. I, I like that ancient universe because it's, it's all force powers and lightsaber battles. And I mean, I gotta say, I'm more interested to see stuff that doesn't involve Skywalkers. True. I don't feel like I'll be as connected to it. Because I really like Anakin's story. Really. But don't you like, think you've seen enough of it? The new comics? Spoiler alerts, guys, for those of you who haven't read the new com new comics. They have brought to light a thing about where Anakin thinks that Padme is dead mm -hmm. at, at that certain time. She's really not. She might later, but she's actually alive at a point when he thought she was dead. Mm -hmm. So they're kind of fucking with everything. Hmm. Could be exciting. The, 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 they just started that. I mean, it sounds interesting. It's canon. I, I'm, so, yeah, I'm I not, mean, it's canon. Yeah, it's canon. But I'm, oh. I'm just more excited to see more things because sure. in, a, in a universe so rich, I mean, it would yeah. be nice to see a little well, bit and, more and of the and then again, outside the, of that. Spoiler alert, uh, one of the Darth Vader comics, which is really famous, or really popular famous, then popular uh, comic series going on, they... they it seems like Emperor Palpatine creates Anakin in Shmi, in Shmi. But that actually is just implied because Anakin's viewing it through a dark force of vision. vision. So you can't entirely trust it mm -hmm. because it's the dark side. It, it manipulates you. Like, it makes you think what you want. So anyway, so anyway, so... 
all that to say, I'm excited about the new stuff. It's going to be a little while, though. They've already said it's going to be a couple Obi-Wan? of years before we see anything. Obi Wan's. It's been pushed. Uh, I mean, it's still going forward. It's still going it's forward. It's just delayed. I'm, I'm on board. I was excited to see it. I thought it was coming soon, but apparently it's not even close. So, I mean, if it makes the quality better, I'm willing to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of, of anything Star Wars as related, long that as, is by far the thing I would be most excited to see. As long as Ewan McGregor's in it, I got no problem. he's on board. He's on board. He's so. on board. That's our dad. Our father. I don't think we ever talked about that on no, the podcast, but yeah. Uh, Ewan McGregor is uh, our father. So, moving past Star Wars, uh, I guess we're all the way up to episode 10 now. Yeah. Episode 10, which we talked about sitcoms. Specifically, we tried to talk about American versus British sitcoms a little bit, um, but it, it became more of a discussion of general sitcoms, which is okay. Uh, we talked about like some of our favorite sitcoms. Uh, in the time since we did that episode nearly two years ago, a- any new sitcoms that you've become interested in? Maybe some that you've revisited? Anything like that? Sitcoms? Yeah, situational comedies. Mm. Television. I've been watching a lot of... Uh, new Netflix shows, which I wouldn't really consider sitcoms, per se. Would um, you consider them sitcoms? Are they comedies? Situational comedies? Medical Police. I love that show. That's a sitcom. I love that show. I have not watched it yet, but it I was so a good. fan of Children's Hospital, so I've been I've been itching to kind of get into that. Uh, I just me- done Medical it Police is really good. Yeah. I enjoy it. A uh, sitcom I've been enjoying the most uh, in the time since we talked about sitcoms originally is Letterkenny on Hulu. Letterkenny's love good. Love that show. Yeah. I've watched it all the way through three times. All of the seasons? Uh, yeah. All, all wow. Seasons. I have not seen the uh, newest season three times. I'll, I'll tell you that it took me a couple of viewings of Letterkenny to get the dialect and how everything was going. Like, the first time I saw it, I was very confused. I was on board with the first episode, but it did take me a few episodes before I, like, yeah. picked up on, like, yeah. oh, this is what the slang means. and right. And then some of the jokes, like they'll do the, the like the same dialect type joke mm. again and again and again and again. I like found it myself, took me a while to I found myself like talking like them. Oh really? No, <laughs> for I didn't a while do that, but... at school, I would like tell kids like choice work, super chief, and things like that. I would say that all the time. <laughs> I, I've I've gotten over I that. Just, the, and the the music that they picked. This Billet Sisters really a good. fucking rocket, bud. I do say that a lot. I said that to you the other Fucking day. Fucking rocket, bud. Uh, yeah, no, it's a good, it's a good show. You ought to check it out. It uh, is a really good show. If you don't get it at first, give it. Just give it a little. Keep watching, and then maybe you might not. If you're not on anymore. board, I mean, the seasons are like six, seven episodes each. If you're not on board after like the first season, it's probably just not for you. Right. And it probably won't be. You probably won't like it. Any other sitcoms that you've really been jiving on? Yeah. I know when we first started the podcast, it wasn't in our sitcom episode, but in our news episode. We did a news hour. We talked about the return of Roseanne, Mm. uh, which was kind of abruptly shot down shortly thereafter due to some things she said, but it continued on as the show The Connors, which I've not watched. I have not watched it either. Without Roseanne, I was... I didn't I love John Goodman. Yeah. I love Lori uh, Metcalf. Share Mm. a birthday with her, as Mm. a matter of fact. Just... My Roseanne... I didn't, I, care. I didn't continue. I didn't care. I just didn't care. Bring back Roseanne. ABC, if you're listening. Is she in Iraq right now? Huh? Is she in Iraq right now? I hope not. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Iran? Didn't she go to one of those? I don't. I don't. Iran to Iran? Are you being serious? I, I thought you were just making know. fun of me because I said bring her back. No, I thought <laughs> she went to a different country. No, I don't think so. I thought she did. Maybe she did. She was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Roseanne. Dicks. Roseanne, if you're listening, hey, please call us. We you don't, don't have our you. numbers. but Comment below if you know. Yeah, comment. Roseanne. I don't even remember what she said that got her in trouble. Something about somebody not being, or being a... A color or some shit. Like being a color. <laughs> wow. Wow, you fuck. You're some color. Wow, your face is really red some right now. Some color. You racist fuck. 
face is kind of red. Are you okay? Oh, uh, just laughing. <laughs> She's been drinking so much. This is empty and I'm disappointed. Where's our waitresses that would come and fill these up? We need those. Anyway, moving on. Uh, anything else you want to say about sitcoms? No. All right, so I guess we'll skip right ahead to... We talked about Spider-Man in our uh, second to last episode, which was also, our, for some reason, our Cinco... Well, not for some reason. It just happened to fall on Cinco de Mayo, but that was like our Cinco de Mayo episode was Spider-Man. Probably our worst podcast, I think, that we ever I did. could really give a fuck about talking about this at all. Um, except for the fact that I really enjoy the new Spider-Man movies a lot with uh, Tom Holland. Oh yeah, he's great. We saw um, Far From Home from together home. Uh, back. Y'all saw our video that we did where uh, we went to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. If you haven't seen it, look through our, our previous videos, you'll find it. Uh, we had a pretty bad experience. The movie theater had to be evacuated not once, but twice uh, once due to a uh, gas leak, the second time due to uh, something else. I don't remember what uh, it was. Joe left. Gas leak and... I don't know. Anyway, the, the movie theater had to be evacuated twice. We did ultimately get to see the entire movie. What uh, did happen, though, was because of our troubles, the theater gave us vouchers to see another movie, and we decided... Uh, the very next day to immediately cash in on those and see Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, which uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed. I personally am not a huge fan of every decision that uh, Marvel's making with Spider-Man at this point, uh, trying to kind of like shape him up to be like the new Iron Man or whatever they're trying to do. But I, I did thoroughly enjoy that movie. Uh, it was a really good time. We saw it in, what do they call it, SX or whatever, where, like, the yeah. uh, projection is going on to the sides of you. It was really cool. I did enjoy that movie a lot. Yeah, so, like, the, the, the film was, uh, when you watch it in such a way where you would, it would be kind of, like, in your peripheral. So it seemed yeah, like, like you were things down would be projected there. to both sides. Of so it seemed like for you were some down reason there our them. screaming had a little glitch going there was on. One, like, there was block. one little block that was missing, yeah, like, like the a entire pixel time. that was missing or some shit. Yeah, that was kind of annoying, but it was still fun. I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I enjoyed that movie. I, I enjoyed seeing J.K. Simmons return mm -hmm. as J. Jonah Jameson in the post credit alert. scene. Um, oh come on! It's <laughs> yeah, it's in the fucking movie. By and now. that's a pretty minor spoiler. Yeah, it's. I thought it was great. But I already knew it was there. <laughs> so the movie, so. Oh, I had already heard about it too. But still, I was happy to see it. I had to tell you that there was another post credit scene too. Because you were oh, like, all right, right, let's leave. And I was like, no, nah, we're Good staying. Boy. There's more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I was like, all right, we're done. Let's go. And you were like, no, wait. There's more. I'm like, I haven't heard about this. I was like, I don't think you're right. We fucking sat there. And right after everything rolled, there was that reveal. At this point in time, for any movie, you might as well stay because everybody's trying to slip in post credits since Marvel started. It's crazy, doing. yeah. Uh, come to find out, there was a post credit scene to uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood that we didn't get to see because we got evacuated. A small one. Small little thing. Is it significant? No, not really. No. But I would have liked to have seen Damn it. Damn it! As a, as a huge fan of Tarantino <sighs> and that movie. I love that movie. Especially after all the shit we went yeah, through. Yeah, I know. But back to Spider-Man, uh, in that whole world, since we talked about it last, uh, there was the near loss of Spider-Man to the MCU, uh, where um, Marvel and Sony couldn't reach an agreement of how to use the character, and Sony was like, no, nope, we're keeping him, and Marvel was like, well, shit, we already kind of, I mean, Sony had all the cards and that, because Marvel had already been like, he's the new Iron Man at this point. Uh, they Tom needed Tom Holland talked to the head of Disney, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did read about that. Uh, but so anyway, that, we got Spider Man back. So, but Sony also has them, and they're building up for something. I love the Venom, Venom movies. I, I love the Venom. Movies. I haven't seen Venom yet. You haven't seen Venom yet? Just bits and pieces. I know what we're doing after we you're done with this filming. And we also have uh, Morbius coming up soon, starring Jared Leto. That trailer got a lot of flack, but I thought it was fine. They're obviously going. To uh, include Tom Holland's Spider-Man, that's for sure. You, yeah. For, 
fucking made bird there, Jim? What the fuck are you doing? Right? You're right. I'm just, uh, you know. Is that like signal to like wrap this shit up? No. No, no actually no. No, but there is that like uh, image of uh, Spider-Man on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, and Michael Keaton. Oh, yeah, yeah, the vulture. Yeah. Well, is he the vulture? He is the vulture. They didn't say for sure. He wasn't the first Spider-Man. But is he in Morbius? I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is too, but we gotta wait and see. Can't jump too far ahead. He's the vulture. He's perfect for the vulture. I think he's better as Vulture than Batman. It's gonna be like I just fucking said it. Michael Keaton, Vulture for life. Fucking Michael Keaton, Batman. Well, he was great as Vulture. Yeah. He he was a fine Batman, but he was a great Vulture. I think he's a better Vulture than. Oh yeah, for sure. I agree with that one hundred percent. Um. But yeah, like so. Obviously, I don't know if they're building up to uh, Sinister Six. Maybe I don't know what where they're going with that. What are we? Some kind of Sinister Six? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but I don't think that's what they're doing. So, yeah, kind of going back to Batman and Joker, too. I'm assuming that means Jared Leto is completely dead. Joker's dead. Yeah, but I've heard As of about bringing Joaquin on back. board back. I don't know what DC's got going weird. on. It'd be weird. As long as the quality of the movies is good, I'm fine with whatever. If it's Elseworlds, if it's sure. connected, I don't sure. care. Sure. Speaking of which, Birds of Prey is coming out like as we speak. Like mm-hmm. it's it's out. We can go see it like right now. It's not out right now, is it? No, it's out tonight. Birds of Prey is out right as as of this recording. This isn't going to be released to our anniversary day, but we're recording it. Birds of Prey is out now. Huh? I didn't realize that. Let's go see it. All right. Okay. Guys. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got we still got a little bit to talk about. Uh, in fact. Uh, Sort of getting on board to wrap this thing up. That was kind of a look back on media overload. Anything else you want to talk about? Things that we did? Videos? We explored the wilds in a video. Explored the wilds. One of our I more wish, popular I videos. Wish, I wish we could have done again. Well, probably we could still happen. We will. Um, but no, we're... Um, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the future of media overload. And the answer to that is... There is, there is no future for media overload we're shutting it down uh we, as of this video this will be the last media overload video ever the very last however we are still going to continue making content it will be under a new name right what's the name go the name i forgot well just kidding be- i didn't forget our new name will be Tight Lights. Tight Lights. Tight Lights Media, something like that. I don't know. Something Tight Lights. It's an all-encompassing uh, channel that will uh, feature videos of anything that Joe and I choose to do. It may be media-related things, maybe podcasts in the future, maybe videos, probably mostly videos. Uh, it may include urban exploration. It may include cooking videos, which we would like to try to do some of and actually spell the title correctly and not call it Quick Cools. Uh, it may have videos pertaining to uh, uh, life here in uh, Tennessee. We did some farming-related videos with Media Overload. And, uh, I mean, basically the rebrand is entirely based around the fact that so much of what we do doesn't necessarily directly relate to media. Um, so we felt like that name was kind of pigeonhole, pigeon, 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 pigeon holing us a little yeah. bit. Uh, and we wanted to, uh, be able to branch out a little bit. Tight lights, uh, comes from an inside joke that Joe and I made, uh, back a couple weeks ago. We were driving around at Christmas time and I saw a house that had some cool lights. I said, those are some tight lights. And now that's what I said. That. I said it. You said it. I, I 100% said it. I feel like that's something I would have said. But you didn't. That's the funny thing about it. I did. Regardless of who said it, (laughs) it's a cool name, and that's going to be our name uh, from here on out. So be looking forward to that in the future. Um, Anything else you want to say before we wrap this up? In addition to that, we're hoping to actually put some content out regularly regularly i know we've said that before um but we are we're really going to make an effort 
to, to have that happen. Yeah. Um, so if you're a fan, uh, and soon to be fans, um, get ready because we're going to try to have content. Now, I don't know how frequently at first, but if we can get something figured out to where we can do it on a more regular schedule, then you can at least hope that there will be a video. Um, I think we've kind of pulled away from the podcast. Um, I wouldn't say that pod, podcasts are not in our future. Right. Which probably won't. They wouldn't be a regular thing. Right. They, Something more akin to what we're doing right now, yeah. I would think. Um, so, but again, like Matt said, it'll be different things, like different activities, different things that, you know, we could, you know, do cooking, this and this and this. And then, with, but with our, uh, you know, our stamp on it, you know, something that, you know, a little entertaining, a little fun, or it could just be a train wreck, uh, <laughs> which is okay too. We'll keep doing our one we are cut. We're very used to train wrecks. But we'll keep doing our one cut. One cut uh, uh, videos, things like that. We really want to do minimal editing when we do these types of things, be just to kind of make them as real as they possibly could be. Yeah, because what fun? I mean, if you're taking everything and cutting it up to make the best possible version of it, you're kind of losing the fun of a lot. And then also, it'll take longer to put out. So um, you know, you can get informa you know, information, 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 and content quicker. Um, they won't all be as long as this video. But, uh, you know, uh, that's just what we're hoping to do. Bring more, more of our media to you. Yeah. More Matt and Joe. <laughs> that's terrible. More Matt that's and Joe. That's so bad. It's more Matt and Joe, but under a different name. And so that we don't feel like we have to just do that one thing because with the media overload just kind of... Keeps it to mediums. We're also... Thank look, you. Jesus Christ. We're also dying right there. We're also looking into get, <laughs> Which we could probably use. We're looking into getting into some scripted material. Maybe some comedy. Maybe some things like that. Sketches. All, all things that could possibly in the future. And uh, we just think that a rebrand would be more appropriate for something like that. Instead of just slapping on things like uh, random slow motion videos to what once was a media-based podcast. Uh, so that's what the rebrand really entails. Uh, we're also bringing some new blood in, uh, actually uh, starting to build up a crew. We got a, we got a, a cameraman, director of photography uh, now. Shawnee boy, you're, you're doing a bang-up job on this video. Thank you. Uh, and you'll be seeing more of his work uh, in the future of tight lights. We're very excited about that. So, you have anything else you want to throw in? I think I think that's it. All right. Well, I'm really itching to get me some more Michelada. So, signing off, media overload forever for the last time. I'm Matt, and I'm Joe, and this has been Matt and Joe's media, media overload. overload.